YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to the Dice Without Toy Review. You would never thought I would actually be doing a toy review on Saturday at around 10 o'clock. Crockies, can you believe it? What an unusuality we're going to be having today eh, in this toy review. And yes, normally I don't often tend to make toy reviews on Saturday. I often just tend to take, like, you know, a freaking break. But hopefully in this video, we're going to be taking a look at something very special. But, anyways, let me just go ahead and grab the webcam. And there's nothing more that meets the eye than one particular product, and that is that there. It's of course a flip up origami toy, and look at that, it's very bulky, and look at that, I can see a, ooh, is that like a Transformers type character, eh? Well, that's in this, guys. <laughs> yes, it's a basic buildable, um, battling robot. Dual Showdown, how's it called though? Uh, match Battle 12 Pack. I mean, just look how bulky the product is. I mean, if you feel that, there's actually something quite boxy or something quite bulky inside this product. I bet there'll be some cardboard inside here, eh? 16 pounds is how much this toy costs. And there's the back of the packaging, which looks like that. And there's also some instructions on how to assemble the robots. There it is, what it looks like to be. Is that an Autobot or a Decepticon? Well, personally, for me, it looks like a Decepticon because of the red eyes. Yes, that just shouts out Decepticon-ish. Even though, as I'm talking of Transformers, this has nothing to do with Transformers because you know why? These things can't do... <coughs> Transform! Well, let's see if they do, let's see if they don't. But let's go ahead and prep and see what we have in this bulky pot, I have to be very careful, eh? Ooh! Oh, look at that! That's a stash of robot goodness! Oh, yeah! And I got a funny feeling, eh? If you would have left it like that, you could probably set up as, like, a robot that has been attacked. And I think that's a very good example. If you leave all of those pieces like that unassembled together into a very big robot, or a dead robot, well, this is what you have. You could pretty much set this one up as, like, you know, a robot that's been attacked or, you know, as a piece of scenery. It's like when a robot has been defeated or obliterated, I suppose. Eh? But let me take a look at the parts. Of course, let me just start off. There's actually two different colors. There's a blue one here. It looks like it's got wheels. And there's also that one there. Ooh, what's that? This one's quite a bit monochrome with red and orange. I would have never thought that. Marvelous. It could be something to do with the evil lord or whatever I'm talking about and oh actually if I grab this <laughs> let me take a look at the blue one here first um, <laughs> okay what does that look like to me ah uh, sort of Optimus not quite prime <laughs> Optimus not very good eh <laughs> why <laughs> Why am I thinking that this is just basically a great rip-off of Transformers? I hope Hasbro and Tommy uh, doesn't sue me for this. I mean, please don't sue me for this, guys. I'm just making it uh, just for fun. There you go. I'm just going to assemble this beast. I think that's how I do the transformation sound. Or more, more like... <laughs> that's actually quite hilarious. In fact, there's a very weird... Filipino uh, video, um, as I remember though, it was like someone did a Transformers sound, it was like, See Optimum Blade! <laughs> okay, um, I can't really remember what that was, but it was really funny having a real life Optimus Prime in the Philippines. Anyways, there you go, that's what I, it looks like, there you go, with the arms attached. It does look like a little bit like Optimus Prime from the Transformers franchise, maybe another Autobot. I can't really remember, eh? But, um, yeah, it does look like an Autobot because of the way, you know, it's been designed. Oh! <laughs> it looks like Optimus Not Quite Prime has actually lost his front. And, um, yeah, I believe that design there is very similar to um, that blue truck there, right in the background. I think it's. That one there, right behind the orange dump truck, is definitely that blue one there. Yes, it doesn't look too bad, eh? Anyways, let's attach the gun. I think the gun's a bit too big there, eh? And if I attach this, um, yeah, the robot arm is starting to fall apart. But not only that, my robot will start to, I would just say, 
Uh, look at that. Looks like his gun is drooping down there, hey? Which is not a very good sign. Is that the right way of holding the gun, eh? There you go. Looks pretty weird, eh? Hopefully it's not the choking gun. But there you go. It looks like... Well, I don't know if it's the smoking gun. But on the back of the packaging, it tells me it looks like some kind of laser blaster. Well, actually, it's a cyber blaster whenever I think of it, eh? Because, you know, it's basically, you know, a science fiction thing. Okay, and we've also got a. Okay, and he's defeated! Oh no! Uh, looks like. <laughs> Alright, there you go, he's transformed. What a cool looking robot, hey? And you've also got this evil lord. Let me try and assemble this beast overall, like that. I believe he's a good guy, that one there, hey? Whereas this one here, he's the bad guy. Anyways, let me try and assemble this Decepticon. It's always just usual as I'm doing things like toys and, you know, trying to keep myself together. Okay, let's see how I'm going to assemble this Decepticon. If it is a Decepticon, well, who knows whether it is. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Oh, yeah! Transformation sounds... Oh, no! Ah, oh, that was a very bad move there. Sorry, Unoptimus Prime. Okay... <laughs> Maybe I should do Bumblebee. <laughs> I need to make more Transformer-like robots in the future. Maybe make as many of those robots and see how they work, eh? Okay? I don't know if I'll be using more or less components how to build robots. And um, there's the gun here as well. I know it looks too bloatedly big, but it looks quite good. And hey, let me try and assemble the arms of the robot anyway and see how it looks. <laughs> Oh yes! Now that looks fairly nice. Rockies, that looks quite nice. And there's the firearms. And we can actually attach this. It's got like a little, how would you say it, slot here. And you can sort of attach the gun like so. And, yeah, maybe the arm isn't that, how would you say it, performing that well, hey? Maybe you try the other side. Will that work, hey? Oh yeah. Oh yes! Oh no! <laughs> oh look at that! I can actually do, instead of having these two firearms, which are pretty useless for me, oh, out of the way you go. Maybe it's a bit better if you can actually play it like this. I am Optimus Prime! Wait, I'm not Optimus Prime! Because, well, I don't know why I'm so good, but here's that stupid Decepticon or evil lord I'm gonna destroy. I don't know how he speaks though, but I'm pretty sure he's very silent. I wonder if I could do a robot fight like this. Oh! <laughs> hey, he's lost his arm. Put that back, eh? I'm actually having a good role play playing those robot toys, eh? Oh, yeah! Let's see how they. Let's see how this robot match showdown starts. Here we go. In three, two, one, go! Oh! <laughs> oh, it looks like. Ah! It looks like they both died. Um, even though that this Decepticon here might have been proved himself as a winner. But you know what, you can pretty much set up little fights for those robots here, and therefore it's a very nice thing actually, eh? And you can actually reassemble the robots. And hey, there is actually one thing that you can do with these robots. Um, you can actually mix and match them together as well. Look at that. Look at that. You can even mix and match the robots like that into, you know, different designs. How about that one, hey? Look at that. Could even do like one like that and the other one like that. Look at that. How cool is that one, eh? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's going to upset the Transformers fanboys. But there you go. Uh, it looks pretty nice, eh? Could actually mix and match the, um, I would just say, the robots together and make it as a great combination to play, eh? Let's get this one here. Therefore, I make it so cool, eh, having that feature, eh? Oh yeah, look at that! You can actually mix and match the robots together, eh? Look at that! Mixing and matching robots is actually quite fun, eh? Look at that! And, um, there you go. Look at that! Crockies, I mean, you see that? It's like a patchwork robot. <laughs> How weird is that one, eh? Also noticing that the heads are a bit different as well. Well, I have to say, that was actually quite a fun looking toy, eh? In fact, I can't help myself. I'm actually going to reassemble those robots and make them fight. 
without their firearms because the firearms are just too cruddy in the way they fit in and they're a bit bloatedly big but anyways let me try and get these beasties back into action and see oh sorry I forgot to make the transforming sound as I'm making this video oh yes oh wait hang on hang on <laughs> oh it's got the letters exposed we need to do them how to say it hard them actually right now ah oh, that doesn't look too good eh how's that for a bit of a very cool looking spin of Transformers goodness well almost Transformers because you know if I was be working with Transformers I'll be working with Hasbro not flip flap okay so I'm going to assemble the other one I have to say these robots are quite easy to assemble and let's see how they go oh yes here we go three two one and Okay, let's see if the Autobots can win. Oh no, the Autobots. Okay, that was a fail. But we can reassemble it again. And guess what? I can actually make those robots fight again. As I can get this Autobot assembled again. Here we go. In three, two, one, and start. Right. Oh wait, hang on. Hang on. There you go. I think I'm back into place. Three, two, one, and start fighting. <laughs> Oh, it looks like the Autobot is the winner. Oh, wait, it's not. He's dead! The Decepticons the winner again! Ah, oh, crud! The Decepticons the winner. I've got a funny feeling that the Decepticon must have been quite a toughie, eh? Wow, um, how'd you say it? Surviving this fight? I don't know why the Decepticons are pretty much good at this, eh? Um, but it is quite a fantastic looking toy, eh? In fact, you can also destroy this robot after playing as well. Like, you know, you can actually play a bit of fighting and then all of a sudden the Autobots die, or the Decepticons die, <laughs> depending on how you put it, eh? But yeah, it looks like an awesome looking toy. And I bet that other toy though, that robot there, the grey one, um, I don't think that's Megatron. Um, yet again it might be, but um, yeah, actually it's quite a very weird looking sort of design, eh? Uh, let's see if I can do another one, eh? And see if the Autobots can win. Three, two, one, and fire! Oh. <laughs> well, it looks like the Decepticon has died, and it looks like Optimus, or well, not so Optimus Prime, has survived. Oh, yeah! That's a nice win. And <laughs> he just died after winning as well. Well, that seems to be a draw, eh? Hey? Well! I have to say, that was quite an amazing toy. Not too bad in the way of actually being, you know, designing toys after robots. In fact, I got a funny feeling this is like a sequel to the Hugmaster 1500 robot that I did there, which was designed after possibly Big Hero 6's Baymax, maybe the Michelin Man, or some kind of whatever it is. But hey, you know what? It was actually pretty fun playing with those robots in the Star Wars Transformers! More than meets the eye! Transformers, robots in the skies. <laughs> All right, that was actually pretty awesome. In fact, I got a funny feeling I should make more Transformers-themed robots. Wow, that was very unexpected, eh? I think I need to make as many Transformer-like robots. You know, in a sense that I'm making these robots designed after Transformers. But I know I'm pretty much saying it, but don't tell Hasbro <laughs> that I'm doing it, hey? Okay, so that was pretty fun, hey? Doing a bit of a very cool looking video, or toy review. as a very nice special Saturday toy review of me taking a look at some robots. In fact, I need to make as many robots as possible, I think. That's brilliant, I think, but, um, yeah, that was pretty amazing of me, though, just to, you know, build such a grand looking toy, you know, based off another famous toy, and I'm actually having trouble to crack those toys together, right? I bet it's those freaking cardboard legs are uh, pretty much doing my head in now. But anyways, I hope you really enjoyed in this video. I might pack the legs after filming this because if you really enjoyed in this very amazing video, please give this video a like, subscribe for more flip type videos in the future. And until next time, thanks so much for watching and goodbye for now.